Hello everybody. So today we are in uh, Harbon Park. No, Queen's Park in Harbon. Uh, so it's going to be uh, a little chit chat in the park like I did before uh, in uh, Grove Park which is in Harbon. Uh, so today I want to speak about different stuff. Um, my experience uh, being in YouTube, making video and also uh, dealing with different type of people and also uh, different um, uh, behaviors that I've noticed on YouTube and I think that because I was uh, new to the to this game I was new to the YouTube stuff I didn't actually notice at the beginning that I was uh, that you you can be used when you are a content creator used by other uh, by other content creators for views for subscribers and different stuff so it's something that I want to uh, speak about today. Um, so I've been on YouTube since, well, as a content creator, since uh, January 2020. And uh, the journey has been very, 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 very uh, long. It took me uh, a year to reach the um, 4,000 hour watch time. I don't, I don't even know if I, do it, I say it properly. But basically, to be part, to be accepted into the YouTube uh, partnership program, you need 4,000 hours of watch time. So people have to watch your content for four, hour, uh, four hours during the year and also you need 1,000 subscribers. So it took me a year to reach that, to reach the 4,000 uh, no, 4, uh, hours of watch time and after that it took me another three months to uh, reach the 1,000 subscribers. So, <laughs> so in total, it took me 15 months to reach, uh, to reach the requirements to uh, be accepted into the YouTube uh, Partners program. So, um, so different steps happened along the way, different uh, uh, behavior that I've noticed coming from content creators. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm going. I'm gonna go that way. I think I'm going to go this way. So basically, um, sometimes I had content creators coming onto my my channels, uh, leaving a comment under a, a video saying oh you know i like your video uh, i watched uh, the old uh, the old video and stuff like that and so i would check their own their own channel see what they are doing and if they do something that i am interested in i would also watch the the content but i do it um because i really value what they do and also to support i don't do it like for a sub for sub type of thing. Sub, sub for sub is when you subscribe to um, a content creator and in exchange they subscribe to your channel. So it was not for that. As you noticed, uh, I've never asked anybody to subscribe to my channel, to like, to share, to all this stuff. I just, I do believe that people um, it's their um, own will 
to subscribe to somebody's channel people can do whatever they want to do if they love the stuff that i do they will support me uh, by subscribing liking sharing all this stuff i don't feel like me personally when i i uh, i am interested in a, in a, in a, a channel I don't need the person to remind me to subscribe. I subscribe if I want to, so I feel like for other people it's quite the same. Um, so that's why I don't ask people to subscribe or like. It's not that I don't want you to do it, it's just that I don't feel like it's necessary. So voila, so you will have um, different people, content creators, coming into your channel uh, telling you what writing a little comment oh, i love what you do uh, please um i love what you do i watch the all the, the full video so you would uh, feel like okay let me see what they are doing and <laughs> and then what else so if i like the video if i like what they do i will uh, uh decide to watch the video or subscribe and so i was very ignorant at the beginning no, let's say naive. I was naive at the beginning because several people would do that to me. And, uh, you know, I would go on their channel and uh, watch their video and also comment too. And me thinking that I am creating like a little virtual friendship or, you know, like supporting other content creators when these people actually do it. Now, do it... Uh, with the, f the, the sole purpose of getting that person's attention so that a person subscribe to the channel and also getting the attention of the people who watch that person's uh, channel. Like for example, by coming to my channel, what they want is actually getting the attention of the people who, um, who watch my videos. And so it's something that happened to me like several, several times. And uh, so I was not aware that it was a tactic that people were, were doing. I was not aware. It's actually what happened is one, the person, one of the person who did that to me, uh, as soon as they reached the 1,000 uh, subscribers and was accepted into, in, the partner, in the YouTube partner program, they unsubscribed and I think they did that to other people too uh, because I've noticed when we yeah because I <laughs> I'm curious so I went back to that channel like a couple of months later to find out you know how they were doing and I've seen that they actually lost uh, a couple of uh, subscribers like hundreds of subscribers because they were doing that just for the numbers not they were not interested in uh you know in creating some friendship between uh content creators it was just for them basically it was just all for them and uh, i don't agree with this type of uh, of behavior i don't need to go on to uh, somebody else's uh, channel to get views humble bragging <laughs> I don't need all this stuff. I feel like if you have a, a content that people are interested in, they just subscribe, they just uh, comment. You don't have to do all this bullshit, excuse my French, to get views and subscribers. And I and, and he happened several times. And actually, I was like, okay, this is what they are trying to do. They try to get basically my, my, uh, my attention and also, uh, my viewers to go and check the channel so um, now I, I've learned better <laughs> I've learned my lesson and uh, I'm not gonna uh, being used again so obviously I am I uh, unsubscribe to the channel and uh, so I focus so now I don't even I don't even want to um, if I don't feel like it's genuine I'm not interested you know, after over a year on YouTube, now I can, uh, and, op and obviously going through this type of things, um, I, you know, I learn, I know better, and 
and uh, if I feel like it's not genuine, if I feel like it's just for, you know, little views and subscribers, I'm just not interested. Voila. <laughs> so voila, that's the first thing that I wanted to speak about. That now I mind my own business, I keep to myself. And I just, um, I just want to focus on my growth, on my journey. And, uh, and at the moment, yeah, that's why I'm interested in voila. And when people actually come to my content creators, come to my channel and say the same BS, I just, you know, I just oh, thank you for watching. Uh, and voila, I don't, I don't want to be uh, used again. Bon, it's not really used. I mean, they do what they have to do to, to, to grow, I guess. But I don't feel like I need to do that. And I, even if I was so desperate that I need to do this stuff, I wouldn't do it uh, either. Either. I just don't do it. I just, I just feel like I am, um, I am confident that I can do, that I can generate growth just by making videos without the need to, uh, to spam uh, <laughs> content creators uh, channels and comment section and all this stuff. I don't feel like I need to, you know, to be uh, disingenuous and, and abuse uh, people's, uh, people's trust, basically. So voilà, I like this park too. It's a nice park. I didn't expect to see uh, so many people here today. To be honest, okay. So another stuff that I want to speak about is uh, the type of behaviors that I've noticed on my channel. And you can say, okay, you know, it's a bit your fault. Look at the type of videos that you sometimes make. <laughs> So what I've noticed is that some people who clearly don't like that I uh, make this type of video, the video that I'm making now, like uh, walking around the place with my phone and recording uh, the area. Some people really, really, really have a problem with that. They want me to stop, clearly. Um, <laughs> I receive threats, uh, people calling me names, uh, you know, C word, pervert, and morons, all this stuff. I'm not, I don't think I'm supposed to to say stuff like that on YouTube. But anyway, I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> so yeah, you have people who call me different types of birds' name <laughs> just because they don't like the fact that I'm making this type of videos. They have a problem with that. Uh, they don't like that I uh, like for example I record mostly I rec I feel mostly hard on um, what else the city center nothing no problem nobody called me pervert <laughs> all this stuff now I go to Soho Road I go to Lozell's Road and I, I am uh, my video are called problematic that I do it to give a, a negative image to I don't I don't uh, that's not my my goal some people, I think, uh, just um, overestimate uh, my videos. Give me like a, a, a responsibility that I didn't sign up for. I didn't sign up to to make people feel good. That's not the. To be honest, that's not the the reason why I make this type of videos. It's not to um, make certain areas look good now or to focus on. Uh, I could do that. I could just do videos on Harvard, like I said, Edge Baston that I haven't done yet, um, the city center and Sully Hall that I haven't done yet, and just leave those areas, those problematic areas <laughs> alone. But I just feel like when you film, you have to be realistic. You have to, you know, just, you should not be, um, just focus on the nice parts of the city, but also, you know, explore the areas that are not considered uh, touristic material. And uh, clearly some people um, don't like that. 
but I'm not gonna stop. It's not that that we. It's not that that will uh, make me stop. I do uh, what I want to do. I do what I want to do. If I want to make uh, exclusively Hensworth video, I do what I want to do. I do Lozers and Hensworth and uh, Perry Bar, Newtown and all these places. I do what I want to do. There's no need to call me names. There's no need to call me racist. There's no need to call me, uh, you know, all the names that I've seen uh, on, the, on the comments. I do what I want to do. Voilà. Today I'm in the park. If I wanted to be uh, in um, I don't know Perry Bar would we'll be in Perry Bar. You don't 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 tell me what to do. <laughs> you don't get the right to tell me what I need to, what I can do with my channel. This is my channel. If you want to do a city center and Bastan, this is for those people actually who tell who send me threats and stuff. I do what the f I want to do. If I want to do Perry Bar, film Perry Bar, even going to. Um, inside the shops, I go inside the shops and I will go with my GoPro. Yes, I will do it on the cover because I do what I want to do. Period. And if you don't like it, do what you said you would do. You know, they, these people um, speak about my video are illegals. Uh, they, I think so someone reported me <laughs> to YouTube, like I committed a crime. So, yes, I will continue making those videos. Keep report reporting me. The more you speak about me, the more you comment, the more you watch my video so that you can comment and call me names, the more I grow, the more successful I am. I would never have thought that I would reach, uh, you know, one, uh, no, what, uh, no, now I am at 1500 subscribers so fast. After I reached the 1000 uh, subscriber count, it seems like stuff just went uh, like uh, it didn't stop like I keep uh, people keep subscribing I didn't I honestly thought that I will reach 1000 subscribers in November of this year that's what I thought so I am very surprised and I am very um, uh, thankful grateful uh, for the views that you give me the subscribers the, the comments I am very uh, I am very uh, thankful. I cannot thank you enough. And oh yes, I need to speak about uh, something else. Yes, yeah, so um, I will make a video at the end of the month about uh, the monetization process and how much I made this month. Because I got monetized uh, on the 10th of uh, this month, but I um, actually um, activate no i activated the monetiza uh, mon monetization button on all my videos the next day because it was 100 videos that i had to monetize and i felt like okay i'm just gonna it's gonna take me some time so i'm gonna do uh, when i can so i monetized my video on the 11th of uh, of this month So I will, uh, for the people who are curious, uh, nosy, who wants to know um, how much money I make doing YouTube videos, that video will be for you. Voilà. And uh, the, the ones who think that I make a lot of money, uh, there's a guy. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so what? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what did you say? Disturb me, the, the other guy. Um, yeah. So the ones who think that I make plenty of money, I hear that the, the BBC. <laughs> the BBC is paying me well, like 1,000 uh, 1,000 pounds for that well, no, yeah, 1,000 pounds for my videos you're going to be disappointed because that money is clearly not enough to make a living from it 
clearly not enough. <laughs> so, um, so voilà. Not enough to make a living. But uh, it's a it's a good uh, beginning. Honestly, the thing with YouTube is that when you monetize your videos, you your video still allows you to make uh, your video still allows you to make money like on autopilot. Like like for example, I haven't uh, uploaded a new video since since um, Sunday and since Sunday I still make money every day so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I still make money well, not much, <laughs> not a lot but I still, it's still something so it's good when you know like a little side job it's good to have like a little thing on the side Uh, so yeah, it's still good to um, like a side, yeah, a little side, uh, side money, side job. Like I could, uh, like for example, because of some of my videos, the problematic ones, <laughs> uh, they bring me like a little bit of money each day, and it's videos that I made uh, months ago. You know some time ago and I still make money uh, from those videos today so um, so it's good like to have like to use that as a passive income like you just have to do a video once and then it's done you continue making even if it's one one pound uh, no what yeah one pound a day it's still um, you know it's still money that, that compound and before you know it, you you get like one hundred dollars uh, because my the, the money that you receive is counted in dollars. So um, so yeah, so you will be surprised. I think uh, I don't know if in the good uh, good or bad, but you will be uh, surprised to see uh, the amount that I'm making. Not a lot, but still something. Uh, I don't know, is there something else I wanted to speak about? I don't know. I think I said uh, what I wanted to say. I think I said what I wanted to say. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. So just to uh, go back to what I said earlier about the mean comment. Yeah, I need to admit that it was a bit um, hard at the beginning to just, uh, you know, having comments like that, like somebody who doesn't know you and, and uh, like, like calls your name without knowing who you are just because they feel like they can, because they are uh, behind the screen and nobody knows who they are and so I find it very uh, weak pathetic <laughs> uh, even but I guess it's just normal it's just uh, you know, the normal YouTube stuff the normal internet internet stuff should I say because people feel like if nobody knows who they are they just can be uh, like the worst version of themselves so, um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a bit uh, challenging at the beginning, like what the what's going on. But then I, you know, and sometimes like, I have to be honest. Sometimes I will see those comments and respond, you know, <laughs> being spicy myself because I feel like okay, you, you started, so you know. And I don't do it because oh, you know, my feelings are hurt. Not I don't do that for that. I'm not. Uh, I'm okay. If I just obviously. You never, somebody, I've never been called a C word before and I have to be on YouTube and <laughs> somebody called me the C word just because 
they, they've, my videos had their little feelings. Um, so, yeah, for this type of people, I just don't care. And I don't uh, respond to them in a spicy manner because, like I said, my, my feelings are hurt. I do it just because. Why not? I mean, you, you maybe that's what they want. They, I think, yeah, I think some people just want to be mistreated mistreated in the comment section some people just want this type of attention you know so i give it to them you want my attention okay it's not going to be a good attention but i mean this is what you, this is you know what you can get from me so let me uh, spice up the comment section a little bit so voila so yeah so i don't respond because i am hurt i just respond because why not no, let's uh, have some fun a little bit in the comment section and yeah and i do like i do enjoy uh answering the comments i like um you know i like um the comments i like the receiving comments and i remember the first <laughs> the first time i received a comment for my first video and i knew that i didn't i knew that i didn't know uh, this person <laughs> I was uh, all excited. I was like so, so like happy. I was, uh, yeah, I, I read the comments like several times <laughs> because I was so happy to receive a comment from somebody that I, I, mean, I knew I didn't know. Like, uh, yeah, I was very, very happy. <laughs> like jumping all around the place just because, you know, I had one comment, one new comment of, you know, somebody on the internet. So yeah, I love uh, when you uh, com you write your comments, and I do my best to uh, answer the comment. You know, uh, because especially when you're a small YouTuber, you you want like to create this little sense of community. Uh, you know, and I want to do as for how for as long as I can um, yeah I want to do for as long as I can because you know when you grow when you know the people the big youtubers who have like 1 million subscribers and receive like 10,000 comments they cannot answer all the comments they just cannot at some point you just cannot answer the comments so uh, at the moment, you know, I have a small community, so I try to respond to all the comments. I think that that's what I do most of the time, unless it's some comments that don't really need the answer, or if somebody else answers the, the, the comments for me. So, um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna stop right here and uh, wish you the best and also wish you a nice what day is it today Thursday a nice week nice week nice weekend and to also hope that you you enjoy this little walk this little chit chat even though I was a bit talking to myself um found to you but you know it looks like I was talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> let's be real <laughs> so um yes i hope to see you to not to see you to uh, speak to you again soon and uh, take care of yourself um you know say i say hello to your family and uh, it feels like i don't even want to stop <laughs> and see you next time bye